Imagine a very tiny human, so small its brain and other organs are the size of rice. Now imagine this microhuman testing everything from prescription drugs to toxins and chemicals. A version of this microhuman is real. The idea is to create a human on a chip. Its brain is being built here at Vanderbilt, led by Professor of Biomedical Engineering, Physiology and Physics, John Wixwo, and his team at the Vanderbilt Institute for Integrative Biosystems Research and Education. You get cells that are directly derived from humans and you grow them up to create organs. Leading to much faster and more accurate testing. It's clear that organs on a chip will help streamline the pharmaceutical pipeline and people should benefit from that without having to have drugs be pulled from the market because of unanticipated side effects. Vanderbilt and fellow institutions are partnering in a multi-million dollar program sponsored by the National Institutes of Health and other government agencies. Today, Vanderbilt scientists are growing a version of a brain. This is our neurovascular unit on a ship, so it, or we can just say brain on a ship. They're specifically testing the blood-brain barrier. To show when you deliver a drug, does it get to the brain or does it not? Does it get to the brain in the form that you want? Other institutions are building hearts, kidneys, livers, and more. It's, it's actually a great deal of fun. It's a challenge. Another key contribution by Vanderbilt? We have all the hardware to keep different organs alive. And ready for study microclinical analyzers to see what the cells are doing, perfusion controllers that keep the cells alive for weeks or months or more. This device is a mini laboratory. It retrieves sample from that organ on a chip, send it directly to our sensors here, and allow us to determine if a major change has happened due to that drug. And incredibly complex because of the minute size. One of the challenges in the organs on a chip business is that when you're building a millihuman or a microhuman, you don't have very much fluid to work with. That's where this invention comes in. Also created by Vanderbilt, it tests exceptionally small amounts of fluid taken from the organs on a chip, literally dots. I think this is an extremely exciting time for both science and engineering. A key element to this project was born by Vanderbilt's youngest scientists. Some undergraduates and even high school students working with us came up with some very clever ideas to make very small pumps and valves that were very low cost. And that has led to a complete watershed of projects. Now partner institutions are using Vanderbilt's devices. Next steps? The project in front of us is to have four organs merged to make probably about a 10 microhuman human on a chip. To see how multiple organs react from a certain drug or toxin, mimicking a real human body. From my point of view, the trick is to get the hardware smaller and cheaper so that you can afford to put hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of copies of it into toxicology and pharmacology labs. Revolutionizing the future of medicine and our health.